Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am going to explaining about the topic number systems. Guys, in this session, I will explain the concept of sum of factors. How to calculate sum of factors of any number. In the previous sessions, we have discussed about number of factors and uh, sum of uh, number of ways. How to calculate number of factors of any number? How to calculate number of ways of any number? Now, in this session, I am going to explaining about the uh, concept of uh, sum of factors. How to calculate sum of factors? Suppose, for example, let me explain a small example. Six. For the number six, the factors are one, two, three, six. According to this condition, according to this concept, sum of factors. Sum of factors is nothing but we need to add all these factors. We need to add all these factors. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 6, 12. Sum of factors is equal to 12. Suppose if the number is 24. The factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12. And 24. We need to add all these numbers. We need to add all these numbers. So, whenever we are going to calculate the number of factors for big numbers, even for 24 itself, uh, it is uh, we are getting almost uh, 8 factors, right? Adding all the factors is little bit of difficult task. So, in order to avoid that, we are having a separate formula to calculate a number of uh, sum of factors. Uh, for any number in a simplest way. I will explain that concept. Uh, so definitely whenever we are going to calculate sum of factors for big numbers, uh, it is difficult task, uh, right? Because of that reason, we must learn about uh, sum of factors, uh, right? Here the concept is very simple. First step is common step as like a uh, number of factors. That is whatever the number which is given, write down that number in terms of prime factors in terms of prime factors which is nothing but let us take a power p into b power q into c power r into and so on here the base values a p c all are prime numbers all are prime numbers here whenever we are writing the given number in terms of prime factors all base values must be prime numbers. Whereas coming to the power values P, Q, R and so on. All these are natural numbers. All these are natural numbers. Okay. Therefore, first of all, the first step is writing the given number in terms of prime factors. Once it is done, once the first step is completed, writing the given number in terms of prime factors then automatically the second step is direct formula for sum of factors direct formula for sum of factors which is equal to a power p plus 1 minus 1 divided by a minus 1 into b power q plus 1 minus 1 divided by b minus 1 into c power r plus 1 minus 1 divided by c minus 1 into and so on. Whatever the prime factors we are getting, suppose for example we are getting two prime factors, you can take up to two uh, up to b. If there are three prime factors, you can take up to c. If there are four prime factors, you can take up to d. Likewise, you need to take the uh, values here. Likewise, uh, uh, because of that reason, I am keeping here it as uh, and so on symbol. Okay. Now, let me take this example, small example 6. Okay. Whether we are getting sum of factors is equal to 12 or not by using this concept. Here, 6 is equal to, how can we write 6 as a product of, as a uh, product of prime factors 2 into 3. 2 into 3, 2 power 1 into 3 power 1. Now, 
it is in the form of a power p into b power q. Only two prime numbers are there. Now, you can substitute the values of a and b, p and q. Here, a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3 and p is equal to q is equal to 1. Right? Substitute all these values in this formula. Here, we are having only two prime numbers. You can take up to b only. Therefore, sum of factors is equal to sum of factors which is equal to now a is equal to 2 2 power 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 into 3 power 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. Now you can solve this one. Here I will write the solution 2 square. 2 power 1 plus 1, 2 square. 2 square minus 1, 3. 3 by 2 minus 1, 1. Into 3 square value is 9. 9 minus 1, 8. 8 by 3 minus 1, 2. Now you can cancel these two. This is 4 times. 3 into 4, 12. 3 into 4, 12. Here we got the same result as that of uh, this case. Uh, even if we are adding manually, we are also getting the same answer 12. And if you substitute all the values in this formula, you are getting the same result. In this way, we can calculate sum of factors of any number. Now, let me explain a few more examples, not for small numbers. Big numbers will calculate the sum of factors. Okay. Let us take a small, let us take one more example. That is... 72 for example 72 here if you take the number 72 we can write this 72 as 6 into 12 6 is not a prime number 6 we can write it as 2 into 3 and 12 we can write it as 2 square into 3 2 square is nothing but 4 4 3 is a 12 right now total how many 2's are there 2 power 3 into 3 square. First step is completed. What is that? Writing the given number in terms of prime factors. First step is completed. Then sum of factors. Sum of factors. Here also we are getting only two different uh, prime factors. Therefore, 2 power 3 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 into 3 power 2 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. Now you can calculate this value. 2 power 4, 16. 16 minus 1, 15. By 2 minus 1, 1. Into 3 power 3, 27. 27 minus 1, 27 minus 1, 26. By 2. Here this value. 13 times. 15 into 13. 15 into 13 which is equal to 195. 195. Therefore, sum of factors, sum of factors for the number 72 which is equal to 195. 15 into 13, the value 150 plus 45, 195. That is the answer. One more example, one last example. Let me take a uh, 256, let me take, sorry, 256, uh, 324, 324, here 324 is a perfect square, that is 18 square value, 18 square, 18 square is equal to, we can write this number as 2 into 9 whole square, which is 2 square into 9 square, 2 square into 9 square, and again 9 is not a prime number. We can convert this number as 3 square. 3 square whole square which is equal to 3 power 4. 3 power 4. Therefore, 324 is equal to 2 square into 3 power 4. Now, these two are prime numbers. Base values are prime numbers. Once it is done, sum of factors, sum of factors is equal to 2 power 2 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 into 3 power 4 plus 1 
minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. Now you can calculate the answer. 2 power 3, 8. 8 minus 1, 7. 7 by 1 into 3 power 4 plus 1, 3 power 5. 3 power 5 value. 3 power 4 is equal to 81. 81 into 3. 81 3 is a 243. 243 minus 1. 243 minus 1, 242. Divided by 2. Here you can cancel with 2 table. 121. Multiply these two. 7 into 121. Here it is 7, 14. 7 2 is a 14. 7 1 is a 7. Again 1 is a carry. 8. 847. 847 is the required answer. Sum of factors for the number 324. Sum of factors for the number 324 which is uh, equal to 847. In this way we can calculate uh, sum of factors of any number. Guys, uh, all as of now in number system topic we have completed number uh, divisibility rules uh, and next uh, number of factors, number of ways and uh, after that uh, sum of factors. Uh, all these concepts are completed along with the important definitions which are very essential for number systems topic. Okay. All these concepts are completed as of now. And in the next session, we'll go ahead with the next concepts. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.